broken shotgun is what we want. There we go. It's almost like Capcom put the pistol in the, next to the bed. And just in case you found the broken or the repair kit, and then you go in the, the little, you know, mobile home and you see the pistol, you think to repair the pistol and then you find the shotgun later and you're like, oh, well, fuck. I need the coin. That sucks. I can't trash that. Uh, oh, there has to be a box somewhere. Oh, there is actually. that in there for the knife. We don't need that. We barely have any space. I mean, we're going to get some space. We're going to get some space once we get to uh, Marguerite. So right now we just gotta stay with two weapons. I think that's it. No, it's probably another door somewhere. Let's just get out of here and get to this uh, power through Miss Bug Lady. So we go to the Bug House. It feels like eight, right? This is the house house, crazy house, and then Bug House. <laughs> and then this middle part is the safe zone. Until later, we get the two crawlers. And then it becomes the safe zone again. flamethrower so right there to let you know there's a flamethrower it does the, it does exist I'm not gonna bother shooting all those actually That's not, that's not worth it. That's gonna take forever. There's another one over here. Nope. freaking bugs man Marguerite's part is so annoying they just fly in your face I think we can get the backpack I don't have any space 
Let's see if we can get the backpack. We gotta get to that side. I think Marguerite's here. Nope. That gave us four spots. Insane. That's another piece to the flamethrower, so let's get that. Gonna keep flying to my freaking fit and dodging my bullets. Freaking Wesker prototypes. I think we only need two pieces, right? No, I think we're missing one. One more piece. No, that's a that's only two. Okay. It's really good. Alright. Something here too. I like this game a lot until the ship. But this feels like classic Resident Evil. It, feel, it really does. Just in first person. It actually reminds me a lot of, um, I guess a mixture of like Resident Evil 1 and Resident Evil Survivor. It feels like Survivor, but it also feels like Remake. Or, or Resident Evil 1. Either one. Was, uh, Resident Evil Survivors are like really dark. Dark themed. This one is this is a really dark themed game as well. This game has no chill, just like Survivor. Ow. These things are annoying. I don't think I have anything. What am I missing here? Oh, I have to go back into the main area. But I've already backtracked twice through both sides. Let's go back into the main area. Really? Really? So we can't go across. We're gonna have to go in here. Marguerite's probably here. Nope. What the hell is she? some answers I know I know you're right and I always wanted to tell you but but I just I can only remember a little and the rest is just gone <laughs> Dad, right you mind if I uh, borrow mommy for a little bit why don't you stand there do something Ethan, help! <laughs> Damn it. hey what's up dr. horror Welcome to the stream. 
I am almost done with every single game in my collection. We gotta do, once we do eight, well actually no, I lied. Once I do eight, I'm going through it again with the remakes and the side games and the non-canon games like Operation Raccoon City and shit like that. Well, here she is. But what, what's, um, shit. Burn that off the wall. Have you seen Infinite Darkness? Can't open that. Oh, you gotta go back to the spider. Oh no, did she spawn the thing back? There you are. Ah. It's gonna kill her. Wait, is this still? All right, that's done. Actually, I have to keep burning. That blew her face off. Okay, so yeah, I'm really excited to get to Resident Evil 8. I'm so excited. And hopefully I can get this game done today, because I'm really sick. I have a lot of like cough suppressants and stuff in my system right now. <laughs> yeah, RE8 actually turned out to be my favorite Resident Evil game of all time. For the longest time, it was Resident Evil 3 original. And I didn't think any game would eclipse it, but Resident Evil 8, it gave me everything I ever wanted. In a Resident Evil game. Story driven, dark, awesome gameplay. Fuck, 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 fuck. You don't have to necessarily read all the all of the files to understand what's going on. It's freaking great. It's not like the older games where you're just like running through, you just run, run. It's just triathlon. <laughs> you're just running, 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 just collecting stuff. I've always wanted a Resident Evil game that's more story focused. And does it and does a good job with it because we have had some that are story focused in the past, but they those have been like nah, but eight is freaking perfect. Where's Marguerite? Oh, she's not here. Cause we got five. Like five has cutscenes in it. Six has cutscenes in it. Six would have been actually really good if it wasn't an action game. Because 6 does tell the story through the cutscenes and stuff. But unfortunately, yeah, it's an action game. Damn, I don't have any spell. Well, I don't need this. I should just eat it. I forgot I hate eating these because it makes your screen look so weird. Reload this. <clears throat> so yeah, let me actually rephrase that. I've always wanted a good story focused Resident Evil game. And we finally got it with Resident Evil 8. Because you can you can actually play through eight and not read the files and <clears throat> you'll still know what's going on. I mean, you, you won't know the, the deeper things, like why are the bug ladies or the witches able to do what they're doing? You won't know that kind of stuff. But you'll still have a good idea about what's going on. What did I even pick up? So yeah, I can't wait to play that game. <laughs> that cutscene was funny as shit <laughs> in RE8. She just mid conversation pop. Yeah, I'll be playing Resident Evil 8 on on. I was gonna do it on PC, but it's kind of weird on PC. 
I can play it on PC, but the thing is, if you get hit on PC, for some reason, if you get hit by certain enemies, the game tanks. Like, the FPS just tanks. Oh, we don't care about you. Get out of here. And they redeemed to Ethan because that dude is boring as hell in this game. That's why this game feels like classic Resident Evil to me because the game is like mostly muted. You're mostly just running around collecting stuff. Just like the older Resident Evil games. Ethan just... A Resident Evil 4 remake. <laughs> I don't want them to skip Code Veronica. I really don't think they should skip Cold Veronica. Because that is the true follow up for Resident Evil 2. But why don't you want them to do RE4? Why do. <laughs> but for, yeah, it doesn't make any sense that they're going to skip Cold Veronica. Doesn't make any sense. As Resident Evil 3, as much as I love Resident Evil 3, like, I can st I still recognize that Resident Evil 3 is not the proper follow up to Resident Evil 2. If Resident Evil 3 feels like a DLC. Like, speaking of triathlon or whatever, that's Resident Evil 3. You're literally, literally running around collecting shit. <laughs> But that game is so intense. I freaking love it. I have so many copies of RE3. They got Dreamcast, PlayStation 2 copies of Play for PlayStation 1. Uh, I have GameCube. What, uh, I had three copies on PlayStation 1, actually, but I gave one away. I have so many dupes. Oh, uh, shoot. Wait, we got the crow key. So we'll go back. And yeah, my Resident Evil collection is freaking huge. Which reminds me that I need to I really need to do more s content for YouTube. Like what screams to you? What tells you that somebody is a really big fan of Resident Evil? Because I have a huge collection, but not many people know because I don't really show it off. But maybe I should show it off more. And maybe I'll get some more some more followers and stuff if I do that. <laughs> like the only game I need to finish my collection is Gaiden. Which I have to be really drunk to get that game. To commit to buying that game. But that game's like Five hundred dollars on average. Right, this part can go really good or really bad. out of here. That stuff hurts you. If you stay down there, you will die. You will freaking die. I 
And I actually need to clean my shelf. I should have sold Dusty. Here it is. But is this um the D series? Yeah, this is D series. I think that's it. And we just need the what is it? The arm. We need the arm, which is the spooky part. I just got done dealing with your mom and her fucking bugs. Wish you could have warned me. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry about you? that. <laughs> I found any, but I did find out we need to make one. A D-series head and an arm. This can't be right. A head? I think I have that around here somewhere. You do? I don't know about the arm, though. Have you searched the whole house? No, not yet. I still need to check the second floor here. All right. Check it out. Meet me at the trailer if you find it. Meet me at the... Okay. So it's nice that Resident Evil 8 really cleared up a lot of issues I had with this game. Like, when was Ethan infected? Why was Jack just walking across the freaking lot on your way to the estate? That was all just... That was just Capcom just doing some experimental shit. But Ethan was actually killed and infected... After the fight with Mia. I think we got the Magnum now. Or I might need one more. Okay, I need to go now. I need to um get the light. So now we fight Marguerite, and I hope it doesn't take 40 years. I hate. I actually don't like the Marguerite fight. Because it's, it's time gated. I hate time gates. I really do hate time gates. Just let me kill the boss. That's special. I mean, they're not. Time gates aren't horrible. Like, it's just, she has too many. She has way too many. It doesn't make bosses really boring. Like, one or two is fine, but if you have like 50, like, come on. Which is why I don't like the freaking lake monster in RE4. pick anything up I can get rid of this actually that frees up only one spot mega medicine I got one spot I might have to get rid of that dang I don't need space It's always running out of space. You can probably put the flamethrower away. Nah, we're dealing with too many bugs. Put the pistol away and put the put that away. I'm gonna use the coins. We need a lot more. Holy crap. Only I thought we needed one more. We need two more. Maybe we'll find it all in the or during the fight. And we'll see. This just made me think about the um, the dollhouse. I think I'm in the minority here, but I did not like that house too much. That baby thing was not scary to me. It was more, it was more like really funny. Why did I go this way? Like when I first saw, I was laughing my ass off. 
It look it looks like a blown out butthole. It was like to me the for me the dollhouse was boring until the part we have to chase chase the doll. But I'm I'm pretty sure I'm a minority with that one. I've played so many horror games. Just desensitized to it. Do I actually have a lockpick? I do not. You know, I, I didn't even do the fetus properly, I guess, because people were yelling at me in the chat to like hide and stuff when it first showed up. When it first showed up, only thing I did is apparently you're supposed to go in the locker to hide from it. But what I did was I just stood. Um, I just stood in the middle of the room behind the table that the doll was that the doll was on it to take apart. I just stood there and then the, when the baby came, I just went around. <laughs> Everybody's like, oh, you're going to die. You're going to die. And then, the, yeah, the under the... Oh, shit. The under the bed one I did. That, that's the one I did properly. I, I really enjoyed the part where you just chased the dolls. That part I liked. Because you're on, like, a little timer. It was stressful. <laughs> oh, shit. Where'd she go? Is she dead? I was actually surprised how easily, uh, how quickly I beat freaking RE8. But I, yeah, I love that game. Like I beat that game. I think I beat that game in the same day. I've never seen that animation. I have like so much stuff. I can't pick up anything. She's humping the wall again. I need some shotgun ammo. Yeah, Lady D. Oh, man. But for me, it's all about Daniela. And Lady Miranda, she is fine as hell. I'm out of ammo. Oh, shit. Can't make any ammo. Oh, she's dead. God, look at that. that's fucking gross. And there's a Lady D statue that I think Capcom licensed it. And and um, guess what? If you don't live in Japan, you're not going to get the new 24th or 25th anniversary thing that's coming out for Resident Evil fans. But it's, <laughs> it's only in Japan. They're going to do two bundles for the remakes. It's like a fancy box with the games in it. 
But it's only in, it's only for Japan. At least for right now. Which freaking sucks. So you get I think you get Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 remake. It's like two different bundles, I think. You get Resident Evil 1, 2, 3 remake, you get Resident Evil 7, 8. Which I think is in the second one. The second one is probably seven. I think it's seven, eight. I don't know what the other one is. And each bundle is like 60 bucks. But it's only in Japan, which freaking sucks. I don't need that for now. Dang, man. I'm gonna go back to Marguerite. Oh, Kim Floyd just sitting right there. Actually, I forgot. Because I noticed this breaks. Which key is this? Oh, it's the crow key. We got to go back to... Actually, go back to the house. We're running. We're running. Should be actually something. This should be a coin here, right? Somewhere. We only need two more. There's an herb. Can't use. It's a lot big. Actually, there might be something here. Let's see. Can I go back here? No. There has to be something over here. And there is. It's gunpowder. I could have used that. Bruh. And why do I have so much healing? Holy shit. I did not realize. Let's get rid of this. <laughs> I have so much healing. I can't even make anything with that. I actually could have just healed myself. I didn't realize the red splotch on the screen until I turned and it became more apparent. <laughs> uh, shoot. So the crow key, I'm pretty sure I go back downstairs, but let's check upstairs. Is this the snake key? I think crow key is exclusively basement. The basement's kind of rough, especially since I don't have any ammo. I have to get my knife. That away. We're going to keep the ink red or powder. We got fuel actually in here. I do something with the solid fuel. Yeah, well, oh, we have a coin in here, too. So we need one more coin. Forgot I put one in there. Put the gunpowder away. Uh, put the lockpick away. I think the pistol is useless. Oh, yeah, let me get my knife. Because we don't know how to use our hands to fight. 